let's start working with our data. The first thing I need you to do is open your data notebook. Remember that's the readme file and we're working with the demonstration data which is the morphological awareness and comprehension data. So our data notebook tells us what the variable names refer to and gives us a little description of what that variable is. So let's keep that there on the one side and let's launch Jamovi. Double click on the icon. I've saved mine to my desktop. Okay, so as you saw in the previous video, you open with a blank screen. And so what we'd like to do now is import our data. Don't worry if my tab up here looks different from yours. I've got a few added modules, but everything else works the same. So what we're going to do is go to the three dots in the top left corner, open, and then you're going to browse your computer for the data set. And we want data set post imputation. Let's open that up. And there we have our data in Jamovi. Okay, so let's do a little tour. These are our columns or variable names. You can see how they correspond with the variable names in the readme file. Okay. Yeah, we can uh, work more with the data. We'll sh go through that just now. And if you want to go into a variable, for example, you want to see what level of measurement it is, you double click the variable name. Then it brings up this dashboard and we can see that ID, which is the unique participant ID, is saved at ID level. If we look at age group, we can see that it's a nominal variable. And we can see here that if you look at the notebook, that's correct because we have three different groups of children of different ages. Let's look at school year. We can see that that's also a nominal variable and it ranges from year two to year eight. If we look at age in months, we can see that this has been specified as a continuous variable, which is correct. Gender. A nominal variable. So whenever you start with a data set you want to make sure that the levels of measurement are set correctly. So we're just going to check all the variables. These because we know that the ruler shows it's continuous we can see that they're all specified correctly. Okay, I don't know what this variable refers to, so let's go to the notebook. Remember, people don't usually memorize what these uh, variable names stand for. You can always just refer to the notebook. And we can see it gets a 1 if the child completed the passage for the secondary test. Otherwise, it's marked as missing. NA means missing. In Jamovi, it just scores it as blank. So we carry on looking. And all our variables are continuous variables, which is correct. But let's now go and label our categorical variables for age group. The numbers 1, 2, and 3 don't really mean a lot. So let's use what's written here to change the label. So level 1 in the notebook says it's 6 to 8 years. So let's just put in 6 to 8 years here. Double click. So you can edit it and say six to eight years. The same for number two, double click so we can edit nine to 11 years. And three, let's double click it, 12 to 13 years. Obviously don't make a mistake like me. And then you're done. So you can see here how it's recoded the variable so that it's clearer what that refers to and gender we could do the same we could change this to female and this to male but it's actually already quite well specified because we know that f and m correspond to female and male so you can just control z to undo it or you can use these arrows at the top finally 
Now we're happy with our, the way the data set looks. Let's save it. Go to the three at the top. You're going to say save as. Browse where you want to save it. So I want to save it in a new folder called Jamovi Analysis. And I want to use the same name, but it's going to now get the extension .omv. So let's save it. Now it says save to dataset. And that is how you prepare your variables and how you navigate around once you import a data set.